This is the day. This is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history. A chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching. We're live next, so don't go anywhere. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Spain against England. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Here's the lineup for Spain. Fabian plays with Rodri in central midfield, and Morata is the main striker for this match. And drawing it back, and the pot in the way. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Pau Walker plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. Bukayo Saka plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. But a skillful operator, an excellent technician. I think that would describe Pedri. What might we see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defence with it. Oh, he's done it! But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Declan Rice and now Stones Trent Alexander-Arnold and a fine stop to turn the ball away sound piece of defending well so close to seeing an early goal here it's a great save you have to say Now, options are plenty. But really sticking to the task defensively. Carvajal. Pedri. Well, great read there to intercept. Harry Kane. Dropping deep to collect the ball. And quick thinking defensively. Morata. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Shielding the ball superbly. Walker. Now possibilities in the centre. Walker. The clearance wasn't decisive. Walker. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Foden. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Might work out. Good work from England to win it back.
And he has options available. It's there for him. It's still alive. And well positioned to clear. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Can they nudge in front? Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Trippier. And over the touchline for what will be an England throw. Teammates available. But timely defending when it mattered. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Lenormand. Rodri. He continues his run. Sloppy, Carvajal. Room to roam on the wing for England. And Bellingham, determined defending. Well, England trailing, but what can they do with this corner? And taken short. Alexander Arnold. Rice with it. No possibilities inside the box. Alexander Arnold. Now Walker. Back with Alexander Arnold. This could level it. What next in the drama? Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, I have to say, you can understand his frustration. This is going to be an edgy game now. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. That is that for the first half here. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Morata. 
Closing down well. It's there for him. And a goal to put them in front. Real drama here. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Jude Bellingham. Now space for England out wide. This could be the equaliser. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Lenormand. The ball with Rodri. Laporte. Went in strongly, decisively. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Walker. Bukayo Saka. Rice. Just the challenge that was required. Trippier. Doing everything possible to keep possession. Trippier. And the cutback. Rice determined defending could be a chance to break here Lenormand Kane he's in behind a goal here giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Kukureya. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Kane. Here's Luke Shaw. Shaw. Trent Alexander Arnold. Oh, my be. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe.
here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Morata. Now, let's see what they can do here. Rodri. On to Morata. Fabian. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Cuts it back. Well, good run and good ball control. And that will be a corner. So making the substitution now. They take it short. Fabian. Pedri. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Really nice ball. Real chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And played short. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Carvajal. And pressing from the front. Torres. Really determined play to hang on to it. Carvajal. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Joe Gomez. Now Harry Kane. Saka. Spain recovering possession well. Declan Rice. Doing well to keep possession. Firing it in. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Mikel Marino. The ball with Rodri. Pedri. Carvajal. Now Morata. Can he take this chance? This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Walker. And Bellingham. Now with Kane. Can he put it away? Can they get back? Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net.
And there goes the final whistle. England have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, England! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. doesn't get any better than this does it a chance now to celebrate with their own fans and the fans have also played their part just listen to the noise here great end to this tournament